I got a strange phone call. Someone from the inside was reaching out to me. Someone close to the heart of the president's elite force. There are hundreds of covert operations on multiple continents with the full support of the White House. It's hard to say when this story began. Greetings from Kabul, Afghanistan. This was supposed to be the front line in the war on terror. What's the name of this village out here? But I knew I was missing the story. There was another war, hidden in the shadows. A night raid. So there's the two men in the guest house were the mm -hmm. first people killed. You saw the U.S. forces take the bullets out of the body. Face. Face. Who were these men that stormed into Daoud's home? And why would they go to such horrifying lengths to cover up their actions? Airstrikes, targeted killings, a lot of it was a questionable legality. How had a covert unit taken over the largest war on the planet? Joining us now is Jeremy Scahill. Jeremy Scahill. They're dismissing what you've done. Why are you still alive? Are you paranoid? <laughs> Nothing like everything more with, oh, he's dead. What happened? He had an accident. The list of raids read like a map of a hidden war. The right guys would get targeted. Plenty of other times, the wrong people would get killed. Algeria, Indonesia, Thailand, Jordan. What we have essentially done is created one hell of a hammer. And for the rest of our generation, this force will be continually searching for an end. Despite whatever conspiratorial theories, there's nothing to it. If they are dangerous, if they are too strong, definitely has a missile in his future. It's important to know when the president can kill an American citizen and when they can. When you are fighting with anyone, any option is open. No mess. America knows war. They are war masters.